This is the SICK Okeanos Air 11 foot SUP and it's a great touring board for flat water and lake paddling and I can tell you all about it in today's review. Hey everyone, it's Brad from BackcountrySkiingCanada.com Today we're going to talk about the Okeanos Air 11 foot SUP. Okeanos is a Greek god dealing with water and uh, six stands for sandwich island composites and the founder Mark Rapport he has about 30 years experience shaping surfboards windsurfers and outrigger canoes so he knows a thing or two about shaping and paddle boarding so he's a bit of a pioneer in the sup world this is a touring specific board ideal for flat water and downwinding and it's really easy to travel it becomes it comes with a case with uh, rollers built into it and a backpack and I'll show you that in a second it's also fairly light. It's only 10 kilograms or 22 pounds. So it's a nice board to move around and take out to the lake and the river and also travel with on uh, airplanes. It uses a displacement touring shape. So nice narrow board and long, so it's efficient in the water. It has a, a good load capacity too, and it's fairly stable. So you can load this up with gear and we've got lots of bungees here to do that as well. So it's a great board for intermediate paddlers that want to cover good distances on the lake and be fairly efficient. Um, it's also uh, got a three fin setup so it's got two fins on the back as you can see here that are removable you can use an allen key to take those out uh, and put them in and secure them and then the middle fin has a thumb screw and it's a bigger fin so if you're on shallower uh, rivers or uh, moving water or a lake that's getting narrow you're just exploring some of the inlets you can take that large fin out and just run with the two smaller fins on the side that's a really nice option most inflatable boards don't come with a three fin setup if they do they're usually fixed or at least you can't take out the middle one which is nice so it has a lot of versatility there and this uses an air 7 polycarbonate fin box which is a really good construction fin box on this board and it's nice to see that on inflatable so sick did a great job with that on uh, the front side we've got nice generous bungee tie downs here in the back to carry a nice big duffel bag or other gear for paddleboard camping we've got another one in the front here for easy access uh, dry bags and things like that we've got the carry handle in the middle and then running down almost the entire length of the board is the uh, Honeycomb EVA deck pad. So that provides really good uh, grip and traction and comfort when you're standing. And it goes almost to the front here, you can see it ends about there, and it goes right to the very back. We've also got an action camera mount here on the front, so you can put your GoPro or other action camera up there and capture some footage. And then we've got some loops for tying down at the back as well. So lots and lo lots of extras uh, on the board. Uh, you also get some extras with the board. So I'll show you what comes with it here. We've got uh, a coil leash for moving water or if you're just inexperienced and you don't want to lose your board on the lake. We've got a repair kit and that's where the uh, Allen key is stored for taking in those two small fins. Then of course we've got our high pressure pump, dual action for inflating. And then we've also got this bag for transporting the board. So it's got compression straps, got a couple of pockets in the front, nice durable canvas. It uh, has some side pockets stashed as well. And on the back, if you open up the back zipper, they've concealed a really nice padded backpack carry system in the back here. And that goes out of the way if you don't need it. And also if you're transporting on some airplanes, it stays safe in there. But you've also got some roller wheels at the bottom and a little more durable surface down here. So really great for putting the board in and dragging it through the airport or to the lake, um, wherever you want to put in. It's easy to travel because it is very light, compact, and great to take away on vacation. Um, so the Okananis is uh, 11 feet long, 28 inches wide, and 6.9 inches thick. So it's a fairly thick board. It's also a little longer than some and a little shorter. It's not as a, a fat 28 inches wide. And that provides a really efficient paddle on the lake. You can get this thing going pretty well with minimal effort, but it does make it a little more tippy. For beginners, you probably want to go with 30 inch wide, maybe a little shorter, and that'll provide that stability that beginners need. But uh, I've been paddling for a number of years, and I found this a really nice, efficient, fast board on the water, and I like that. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of rocker on the front, but you can see the nose here, it's got a little uptick there, so that will get you over some smaller waves like we have today here on the lake. The board weighs 10.1 kilograms or 22.3 pounds and it retails for $1,299.99 Canadian or $8.99 US. So the SICK Okeanos Air 11 foot SUP, really good all round board but the benefit is paddling on the lake. 
going far, being efficient, and uh, going fast. Because it's got that narrower and longer shape, it's really good for covering some ground on the lake. Um, really had a lot of fun with this, found it nice and stable, easy to get up to speed, tracks well, nice durable construction as well, and I really like the graphics on the board and also the extras you get on it as well. So they've done a great job with this board. Please read the full review at backcountryskiingcanada.com. Go into our paddle uh, paddling section for the review and you can find other paddleboard reviews there and other water products as well. So that's backcountryskiingcanada.com. Thanks very much.